Hey guys, it's Jim, welcome back to the channel, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Oasis reunion, the pros and cons of an Oasis reunion. Now you may be screaming at me, there are no cons, there are no cons, but let me just first say the Oasis reunion could be great, it could be one of the best things in the UK for years, really. Um, it'd be great to see them back together again, if they could come close to capturing that electricity, performing together again, bring back that nostalgic feeling of the 90s, a much more simpler time, at a time when the UK are kind of wishing for something like that, something like that to bring them out of the darkness, bring us out of the darkness. The 90s was a golden period and Oasis were a big part of that. And if they can somehow capture that, it would be great. It would be so positive. But I do think there are some flaws with wanting an Oasis reunion. And I think one of them is looking backwards uh, too much. We always seem to want these bands to come back. We always seem to want these, in other media, franchises to come back. And we're usually always disappointed. Who remembers the Sex Pistols reunion back in the early 2000s, wasn't it? Which was cringe. And everyone thought they wanted it. This is the problem. I think everyone thinks that they want these reunions and it never feels quite the same. If Oasis come back, they're never going to produce an album the calibre of definitely maybe What's the Story, even the calibre of their later releases, Daniel Shoulders of Giants and Dig Out Your Soul. They're never going to recapture that. They're just not because so much has changed. And I think the problem with wanting an Oasis reunion is we're wanting things to not have changed. We're holding on to the past. And I think in a case like this, I would love if it happened. I'd be so excited. It would be awesome. I'd try and get myself fully pumped up. I feel like if they could fully sweep all of the drama under the rug, it'd be great. Like um, the happiness, the joy of seeing the Gallagher brothers together. But I'll be honest, to me, that feels like a bit of a dream world at this point. It's all wrapped up in in, in youth and camaraderie yeah. mm. and all that. And once that is gone, you cannot put that genie back in the bottle. And if and it would mm -hmm. just be showbiz and it would just be for a mere paltry hundred million pounds, <laughs> frankly. The Gallagher brothers, for years, I thought this is just hyperbole, this is just to stoke as much interest in the reunion, this is just to build as much anticipation up and then they'll eventually come back together. Now we reach the point where both guys are in their 50s and they hate each other, like genuinely. It's tragic to see, they genuinely hate each other. This isn't for the cameras, guys. Now, I actually think there's more to the Oasis beef than we've seen. I think there's more to this than they're letting on. I think genuinely some terrible things might have happened between Liam and Noel more than we're getting told about. And for that reason, I don't want to force them to get back together. It almost feels like every time Noel is asked about this, a part of his soul is slowly dying. Like, I, I genuinely think there's true hate between him and Liam. Now, people could say, well, no, it's just the Manchester stubbornness. It's just the way they are around then. When you get to your 50s and you still hate your brother for a fallout, that's weird. That is weird. Especially when you're this big and the amount of money to come back together would be crazy. There are positives for it, for your family and for you and for your career. And you're still resisting it. Something crazy is going on there. Something went on behind the scenes that we don't know about. I think there's way more to this than we know about. We don't like each other, man. <laughs> A lot of people think we're waiting around, you know what I mean, for like a few more knots on the end for the thing. But they've already offered us like loads of money. Like millions and millions, but... Not about the money, is it? You know what I mean? They came back, you'd be coaxing them together. I, it doesn't feel like either of them really want to do it. It feels like Liam, for me, he wants to keep the fans happy. He wants to keep the fans excited. He wants to keep the memory of Oasis going. I think they both love the band, but they don't love each other. And that's the sad truth. You know, Liam's trying to keep that memory alive. He's trying to recapture the spirit of Oasis with all the gigs that he's doing, with Nebworth, etc., playing all the Oasis songs. The band is very much alive. I don't know if the band needs these guys to come back together. If you think about it, when you go and see Liam Gallagher at Nebworth, you, you're sort of seeing Oasis. Now, it sounds insulting to Noel, but all you're missing is Noel on the guitar. I know that's a big thing. But you're seeing the songs with all the spectacle. You're hearing them how you probably would. You have to wonder if too much time has passed now. You know, if they've left it too long and they are too old, because you think about it, what you want from the 90s, that band doesn't exist anymore. I find it a bit sad that, that, that there's a whole generation of kids, working class kids, 
who have got nothing of their own to buy into, and they're projecting all that onto a couple of 50-year-old fellas. Where's the new Oasis? Mm. Where's that? Mm. Where is that? Where are those guys? Now, these guys have gone in different directions, especially Noel. You know, Noel is a different person now with different tastes. He's different creatively. And I feel like we kind of be stifling these two guys creatively by bringing them back together because they seem to have found their own path separately. And I know this is just going along with the whole Noel Gallagher, every time he resists it, you know, it's a way for him to get out of giving the fans what they want. And I'm kind of feeding into that. But if you think about it, the recent interviews with Noel, he's been saying that he's been asking Liam to call him and Liam isn't doing it. So there's more than we thought here. Either Noel was lying through his teeth or he came a bit more round to the idea. And then Liam has gone off in the other direction. So these guys are never going to sort it out. And I feel like if it does happen, it'll be entirely out of nowhere. But you have to think at this point, with this much history, with this much uh, to, to sweep under the rug, with this much um, build-up, it's getting to the point where people won't care anymore. Like, I feel like if the Oasis reunion doesn't happen in three years, at the most, people won't care anymore. They've missed the boat. And it seems to me like they don't care about missing the boat. I feel like they're both in their own way, keeping this fantasy alive in fans' heads because it's healthy for them and their careers. But neither of them really intends to do it. I dare him. He'd be watching this now. Is this going on your website? Is it? All right. I fucking dare you to call me. I dare you to call me. And you won't call me. Because if you do call me and I go, actually, that's a good idea. Actually, that might work. Then the arse falls out of his trousers because then, then you've got to be in the same room as me. And then we both know how that ends up. And I know it sounds like I'm being negative about a Oasis reunion. I would, I would love it. You know, I would do it in a second. Like to get, I'd rather get rid of their beef. I'd rather they didn't hate each other. That would mean more, far more to me than seeing the band again. Far more. Like to see Liam and Noel on good terms in an interview, in a sit-down, talking back and forth to each other would just be fantastic. But these guys are set in their ways, they're old, uh, they've got a grudge, and they don't believe in the same things anymore. They're not, they've done what they did with Oasis, they've achieved that. And I feel like we're so obsessed with going backwards because we've got nothing to look forward to musically. I know there are amazing bands out there, there really are. But I feel like we've gone past the era where bands can captivate a decade. It just doesn't seem to happen anymore, like in, in the rock genre, you know, and that was such a different time. You can't really capture lightning in a bottle. I feel like even if they were getting on with each other on screen, you'd have people thinking they're just getting on for the money. I don't think you get away from that. It's not going to happen, yeah. is it? You know, who cares anyway? Yeah. I mean, I know for a fact there's nothing left on the table, really, you know what I mean? Because well, we did have a good crack, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You but know, the like, I can sit there like when I'm 80 and go, oh, I wish I'd have done that when I was in a, when I was in a band. We well, did everything. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, I mean? you had... The only way I think that an Oasis reunion could be brilliant and no one would be skeptical of it is if they actually made an album along with it because if they made an album and the album was great and it actually sounded like a combination of Noel Gallagher and Liam Gallagher sounds it actually sounded like a, a collaboration it sounded like a new kind of Oasis while still respecting Oasis and they came out with a massive lead single that's when I'd support it but I don't think again even if these guys do a reunion I don't think they're going to want to do an album and if they don't do an album, it will show you that they don't want to be in a recording studio together. And if they don't want to be in a recording studio together, they don't want to really be together. So no one will want Oasis back if the guys are just doing it for you. You know, if they're miserable together, no one's going to want that. If they can iron that out, that's the only way this is going to happen. So throw the band out of the equation. The Gallagher brothers have to reunite before Oasis. What do you guys think? Are you sceptical of the Oasis reunion like me? Do you want to see it no matter what? Or do you only want to see it like me if they genuinely love it, both of them, and they love each other? Let me know in the comments below. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I talk about Oasis all the time and other British rock. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.